Um, so I don't know. I mean, I'm like, I hope people just go out there and vote for Peanut, man. If nothing else, <laughs> if nothing else, just vote, like vote for Peanut. Ladies and gentlemen, the pleb is back in this report. Joe Rogan shocks the world by finally doing the right thing as he endorsed Donald J. Trump for president of the United States. Now, this has sent the betting market into a craze as Trump odds are surging going into the election. You won't want to miss this report. Stick around. Quick reminder to smash the subscribe button before we start this report. I'm going to report to you the news that the mainstream media won't. So smash subscribe if you want the truth. Welcome to your election day report. Are you guys excited for the election here today? Because I certainly am. And for those of you who want to follow along with the election, I'm going to be streaming all night into the morning, probably my longest stream ever. So get ready tonight. We are streaming the U.S. election. Now, the reason I'm in such a good mood is because last night, Joe Rogan came out and shocked the world with this endorsement of President Trump. Look what he had to put out here last night on X, saying the great and powerful Elon Musk. He dropped a surprise episode with Elon here and says, if it wasn't for him, we'd be effed. He makes what I think is the most compelling case for Trump you'll hear, and I agree with him every step of the way. For the record, yes, that's a, an endorsement of Trump. Enjoy the podcast. Now, we're going to go into a couple of clips that are going to give some context as to why Joe Rogan endorsed Trump. But this first clip might actually just be the most perfect one. As Elon says, if Trump doesn't win, he thinks it's going to be the last election. And Joe Rogan completely agrees. I'll say it again, man. Um, I think this is the last election. If, if Trump doesn't win, this is the last election. I think you're right. Yeah. I think you're right. I think people and a lot of people are waking up and realize that that have been lifelong Democrats, guys like Bill Ackman, guys like Chamath, yeah, exactly. you know, Tulsi Gabbard switched over to the Republicans. Yep. Like there's a lot of people who their whole life they've been left wing and they realize like, I can't do this anymore. You and I used to be Democrats. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's nuts. It's nuts, man. If the Dems win this election, they will legalize enough illegals to turn the swing states and everywhere will be like California. There will be no escape. That is wow. so insane. This is the final. This is it. The final this battle. This is the last chance. The final battle. Has anybody tried and to I push back? I just want to like go out and vote. Vote like your life depends on it. Vote like your future depends Let's on it go. because it does. And another reason I think Joe Rogan finally decided to give his endorsement is because while Elon Musk and him went over all the lies they said about President Trump and all the hoaxes that got debunked. Watch this clip. Deliberately post pushing hoaxes that have been debunked thoroughly. Yeah. Well, we're, not we're just like even Snopes, which is a liberal thing, yeah. says it's bogus. Yeah. Like the fine people hoax. Uh -huh. Obama just said that on it's, stage. Obama just said that. I was like, what the flying fuck? He doesn't give a fuck. He doesn't give a fuck. They're just, they're That's just a flat going out for goddamn it. fucking lie. Mm. Flat out lie. Flat out fucking How about lying. the other one where Kamala's campaign used what Trump was saying about protecting women and uh, from illegal immigrants? Thank you. You remember that? The, he, yeah. What he was saying is, the, the, if the women like it or not, I'm going to do it. Yeah. When he was saying that, they were trying to say that he was taking away women's right to choose yes. whether women like it or not. Like, that's not what he was saying. Yep. Absolutely. He was literally talking about protecting them from dangerous people that are sneaking in through the border. Yes, exactly. They'll take like... Like not even a full sentence, like a half a sentence from Trump, yes. and then and then I'll push it on on every ad, every you know, every speaking event, every and it gets media. repeated on the news. Yes, this is what's crazy. They'll talk about it on these news shows, it's quote a, news shows. Mm. Yeah, exactly. I mean, um, I mean, a recent one that that came up um, 
which had a lot of people because I it, a lot of people. It's funny because they do that in Canada here with Pierre Polyev as CTV was caught like splicing his words up and trying to misrepresent what he says. The left is evil. Re reached out to me. It was like, they're, they're like, oh, Trump says he wants to execute Liz Cheney. I'm like, that is utter bullshit. What <laughs> it's not what thinking? he said at all. It's not Insane. what he said at all. He, he, all he said was like, it was like, what he's saying is that, look, if, if Liz Cheney uh, um, actually had to fight at the front lines, she'd think twice about going to war. Exactly. That, like it's easy to go, it's easy to go to war. It's easy to be a warmonger if you don't have to, you know, risk dying at the front lines. Like if other, like basically it's fucked up if, if people are having like fancy dinners in Washington, D.C. Um, while people are being slaughtered in trenches, you know, it's like you're not feeling the pain. Exactly. You're not taking the risk. It's someone else dying. Exactly. That, that's like, it's, that's, that's cruel and lacking in empathy. Mm -hmm. um, and, and all Trump was saying was that it's like Liz Cheney would be much, Liz Cheney would be much less of a warmonger because she's a huge warmonger, just like her dad, um, if... Uh, she actually ha had to go to the front lines and fight herself. And meanwhile, they're saying that he should. He's saying she should be shot. Yes, which is a total lie. And but I had like tons of people call me this weekend yeah. saying, "Oh, Trump says he's going to put Liz Cheney in a firing squad." I'm like, that is an outrageous lie. And yeah. legacy media ra ran with that lie big time. Yeah, it's mm. crazy. It's it's just wild to see. And if it wasn't for Twitter or X, now I don't think we would know about all this stuff. Yep. God bless X. If it wasn't for X, we wouldn't even know what the heck is going on. The media are evil. They always try to misrepresent things in order to advantage the left. It's honestly getting old. And thank God we have X right now because the truth can actually get out. Imagine if we didn't have X, we would be so screwed. And the final reason why Joe Rogan endorses Trump, and the funniest reason, is none other than the death of Peanut. Watch Joe Rogan and Elon Musk break it down why this was one of the most insanely disgusting cases of government overreach we've ever seen. I mean, if somebody killed your dog, you'd be really inclined to kill them, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Somebody killed your squirrel. Yeah, John, really John Wick. Yeah. The fucking squirrel thing is bananas. Yeah, that squirrel thing I, in the squirrel thing. I, I, so here's the thing about the 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 whole squirrel thing is is that um, how, how can it be that we live in America, uh, supposedly land of the free, and the you know the, the government can barge into your home with guns, uh, so if you resist, you're going to get shot, um, and then take your your pets and execute them. Um, and if they can do that to your pets, what do you think they can do to you? Mm. I know that's not an exaggeration. Absolutely, it, it sounds so, like you're you're. Oh, that's so crazy! How can you make that connection? But it's that's. No, it's why a, it's would a, you kill a, that cute little squirrel that was obviously a pet and trained from the time it was a baby? Yes. If you see the interaction that guy has with that squirrel, it was wonderful. It was really cute. Mm. Yes, absolutely. There, there, there's, it, it was just obviously a, it was a beloved pet, pet squirrel um, and a raccoon too, um, and doing no harm um, and. The, the the government comes in, barges into the guy's house, takes his pets and kills them. And you know, I, I think this should this should really get people out there mobilized, frankly, because um, <laughs> you know, we think you see that like the John Wick movie, where John Wick's like, you know, he 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 wants to he just wants peace, like you know, in in the, in the John Wick movie, he just wants to, he's like, listen, I want to retire. And they offer him like tons of money, like to because they want him to be an assassin, to keep being an assassin, and, like. They, they like, they they like offer him tons of money. They threaten him. He's like, listen, I'm not gonna be. I'm 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 out. You know, and they kill his dog. Mm. That was a bad idea. <laughs> 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 that was a they really they killed a cute little puppy, and the puppy was his uh, ex-wife's gift to him when she died of cancer. Yeah, great movie. Great movie. It's the best revenge movie of all yeah. time. Because it's so ridiculous, he kills everybody. Yeah, he kills everyone. Um, <laughs> and you're rooting for him. <laughs> yeah. They shouldn't have killed his dog. <laughs> yeah, they fucked up. And they shouldn't have killed that squirrel. <laughs> they shouldn't have killed that fucking... That, that squirrel, I mean, it's like, how many how many cases have we not heard about, you know? Oh, um, little, little guy. And that squirrel clearly had a love relationship with that guy. He would hop all over him and climb on him. I mean, it was... That was his pet. Uh, that squirrel thought of that man as his protector, as mm. his, his companion. Yes. Know?
There was nothing wrong with that. And in Texas, it's totally legal. You can have a fucking zebra out here. You can have whatever you want. And that's the argument for freedom. What the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you killing that squirrel? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, and then to add insult to injury, there were a bunch of people on the left who were like actually posting that they're glad that MAGA squirrel got killed. Which is fucking. Mega fuck squirrel. Yeah. Like the fucking squirrel has an ideology. A mega squirrel. This is how insane the left is. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. Left, we're like actually posting that they're glad that Mega squirrel got killed. Which is fucking. Mega fuck squirrel. Yeah. Like the fucking squirrel has an ideology. It's a it's cute fucking, little yeah. fluffy squirrel. Exactly. <laughs> Well, it's it's, so a, it's a nice symbol insane. because most lo most like reasonable, compassionate people think that's terrible. Yeah, and most people who have yeah, pets exactly. think it's terrible. It's terrible. Um, so I don't know. I mean, I'm like, I hope people just go out there and vote for Peanut Man. If nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> nothing else. Just vote. Like, what a way to end this clip. Exactly. Well, it's uh, it's so a, a nice just, symbol because most lo most like reasonable, compassionate people think that's terrible. And most people who have yeah, pets exactly. think it's terrible. Terrible. Um, so I don't know. I mean, I'm like, I hope people just go out there and vote for Peanut, man. If nothing else. <laughs> if nothing else. Just vote. Why you vote for Peanut? You know? Oh, vote for Peanut. Hell yeah. Don't vote for Trump, folks. Vote for Peanut. This election is about freedom versus tyranny. And the Peanut story is the perfect example of that. And this endorsement from Joe Rogan has sent Trump surging overnight here as he was in the 56-57 range and is now heading back up to 62%. So this Joe Rogan endorsement has had a huge impact here on the betting markets and will most likely have a huge impact on the election. All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap here for this quick report on Joe Rogan's endorsement. But I want you to tell me in the comments down below, who do you want to see be the next president of the United States, Trump or Kamala? I want to hear it down below. And if you guys want to support my channel, the best way to do it is like this video, drop a comment for the algorithm, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, or buy a $5 Canadian membership. My name is The Pleb, and I will see you for the greatest election stream of your life tonight. See you later. Peace.